Hey Barbie fans, this is Jazz Hands, back with another video. This is my first out actually outfit changing video. Uh, welcome back to Barbie's Dream House circa 1962. This is a reproduction dream house. I wanted a nice fresh one, plus uh, I wanted to have all the things with it, especially for what I'm about to show uh, with this particular outfit. Today we're going to be looking at Cotton Casual number 912, one of my favorite outfits ever released for the Barbie collection. It is a very simple uh, striped dress and I'm going to read a little booklet here that we have listed with it. It says Cotton Casual without doll number 912, sparkling navy and white striped cotton play dress, contrasting ribbons accent the empire line, white summer shoes one dollar so that this one outfit cost one third of the price of a barbie doll and is one of the main reasons why many women and mothers and children actually made their own clothing and in a later video i'm going to be showing some of the patterns and stuff that people made with it here is the actual dress uh it is in excellent condition it still has its original crease that went down the center that you can see inside the illustration kind of and yeah you can see it right there in the center and some additional creases on the side this dress is very easy to find it was manufactured from 1959 to about 1961 or 62 i can't remember exactly when but uh the hardest point to find that's in mint condition on here is these ribbons they're usually faded or they some kid undid them and finding them like this in this condition is very difficult uh my Mine has been touched up slightly. Uh, it's very easy to touch it up. If you can find them with the little ribbon perfect, uh, you can also try your hand at getting the ribbon perfect itself. If you, if you need to see on here, this is exactly what the ribbon looks like. If you ever want, if you get one yourself and you want to try to replicate that, then maybe my video will help you tie it up. Um, when I put this in for a nice little wash. Uh, it ended up uh, like the dress itself like perked up quite a bit. It looked really good. Um, it's uh, there's a little blue ribbon on it. Anyway, they, uh, it perked up really well and it took its form really well. But these got bleached out really badly. Um, the way that the reason that they look as good as they do is that I took a little piece of uh, paper and I folded it over several times into a little uh, triangle, a little rectangle, and then I tucked it behind these ribbons and then with a little piece of paper directly behind the ribbons I took a sharpie that was yellow and I carefully outlined the ribbon so it soaked in the color and then I did the same thing for the orange and it, it looks perfect uh, I think the yellow probably isn't as uh, bright as it should be I think it was supposed to be a lighter yellow but I mean who's gonna argue with really great results uh, the, it was just something I thought hey I could try it and I don't want to stain the dress because once you put that sharpie on here it bleeds right through the ribbons so you have to have that piece of paper underneath it but once you do that I mean you can get a really solid restored look to the dress itself and it looks wonderful let me get this ribbon off if I can wearing gloves isn't helping that but there we go anyway uh, so the point of this video is to put Barbie in the outfit and we're starting with the number one reproduction Barbie which I did in a previous video we're gonna start by taking her off her base and we need to take off her shoes and her bathing suit and there goes one of the pillows we're gonna take off your bathing suit she is wearing the hoop earrings in the picture so we're gonna leave the hoop earrings on her. And let's go ahead and slide her in. You do it just like you would normally dress and you put her in feet first per one of the directions that's uh, listed. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to tap the camera. My setup, I think I've just about got it perfected, but I just cannot touch anything that's uh, related to it or it all swings like that. So I'm just, you know, getting it used to it. So we're gonna snap that in right there. Snap that in right there. There we are. Kind of fill, fill the form out a little bit. Looking pretty fly there, Barbie. And then we'll get her shoes on. These are reproduction shoes. The dress itself is vintage. And uh, you can tell the a year of the outfit. Sorry to look under your skirt, Barbie, but let's see if I can show it here. The tag in there should say, there's a tag. TM behind it. If it's TM, you have a 1959 dress. If it's 19, if it has an R, then it's a 1960, 1961, maybe 1962, whenever it came out. So then you're knowing, uh, you know exactly which year that your particular dress came out in. 
So we've got the outfit on. There we are. We've got the shoes on. Let's see if I can put the shoes on that are reproduction on the reproduction stand with a reproduction doll. Hopefully it will fit. Yeah, it will. Cool. All right. And then we'll put her down. And there she is, looking kind of just like the picture, actually, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Wrong color, but uh, yeah. So uh, it's a very simple outfit. Um, one thing that um, I always thought, I thought this dress was black and white, like a zebra stripe dress. And it's very common to think that because the navy is so dark, like the farther you get away from it, the more it looks like uh, black and white. And even in one of the promotional... Uh, Nice little spin there. In one of the promotional portraits, it's black and white. And in the Barbie Dreamhouse replica, they actually have it. It shows the uh, outfit as she's wearing it. This is a re this is for the Busy Buzz, which is a song that they did for one of the Barbie songs. And as you can see, they used black and white. So whoever commissioned the piece and did it, they, oh, it's a black and white zebra dress. And that's what they put on it. So there it is. Uh, that's really all there is to this outfit. It just came with the dress and it came with the shoes and that was everything that you needed for this particular look. And she does look wonderful. I, I'm a big fan of these big poofy, big poofy style dresses that you do like poodle skirt style dresses that you just don't see anymore. Um, they're very common. They were very common back then. Uh, big, comfortable outerwear. In this instance, they call it a play dress, but uh, you just don't see outfits like this anymore in modern day wear. But yeah, it looks like Barbie's ready for a casual shopping day or hanging out, going to lunch with friends. And it's just really cute. Uh, one, th one little thing that I'm trying to do uh, in addition, I'll put the record away up here, is I'd like to uh, either, if you have a request for what kind of outfit you'd like to see Barbie wear next, or you wanna see a particular doll wearing a particular outfit, I'm happy to put that on a video for you. All you have to do is leave a comment. Um, one thing too, is I wanna kinda of use the closet as like a preview of coming attractions. I'm not necessarily gonna do either of those two outfits next, I just kinda of threw them on there. I wanna to try to do 1959, 1960, 1961, 1962, when they came out in as big as order as I have them because there are certain outfits that I just don't have because they're too expensive or I don't think they're very nice looking. But uh, this was the first one that I had. I don't have Golden Girl, which was actually the first one in the collector's book, but this was the next one down, so I started with it. But yeah, just uh, leave me a comment if you're watching my video and you want to see them wearing certain stuff. Uh, that's what I'm here for. We're trying to get all these outfits done. Uh, thanks for watching my video, and I hope you come in for the next one. Bye.